Brother Sam's giving the gospel. Amen. Amen.
you have the hostility of God abiding upon you and he will bring judgment in full measure on judgment day. Amen. See, that's why the grace of God is such a good thing. Because though we deserve the wrath of God, he offers us or extends his mercy towards yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He extends life towards us. It's, it's the saving, uh, it's the, the, the line to the drowning. It's the lifesaver. He, he threw it out to us. Yes. We have to grab a hold of it and cling to it as if uh, we were dying men, as if we were drowning at that very moment. And the only source we have is that life vest, that lifesaver that was offered to us. Amen. In the physical world, if you were dying, if you were drowning in a pool, if you were drowning in the depths of the sea and someone came along and they threw you a life vest, would you say, I don't want that one? Mm -hmm. I don't like the way that one looks. I don't like the, no, sir, the, what that it. one says on it. No, sir, I'm taking it. No, you would cling to it because you knew it was your only source of life. Amen. And I want you to know it's true in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ comes and calls men to repent and say, I don't want that one. Hmm. When Jesus tells you to repent, I don't want that one. I'm going to sit here and drown in my sin. I'm going to sit here and die in my sin. I'm going to sit here and die in my sin. The life, the life saver is floating right in front of you, but you choose booze, you mm. choose alcohol, you choose sinfulness. Amen. I choose God offers you eternal life. The life saver is thrown out. Amen. Jesus Christ has given on a cross. This Dr. Michael on the cross, the death of the living life from that sin and body. They get away back and swim further from the life saver. They swim away from the life saver. I say, I'll have a little more fun in the pool. I'll have a little more fun swimming in the ocean. I still got some time before I drown. And then my lungs fill up with water. And I prepare to sink to the bottom of the ocean of sin. Kind of like the Pharisees who said, mm. we will not have this one to lord over us. My God. See, the Bible says as much. It says that those who walk in darkness don't come to the light, mm. lest their evil deeds would be exposed. The Bible says, in fact, the darkness hates the light. Yes, sir. People say, I love Jesus. Well, if you're walking in darkness, the Bible says no. The Bible says you hate Jesus. The Bible says that they hated Jesus because he testified their deeds were evil. Mm. And he drank wine. That's a lie, sir. Wine over and what, what they called him back in his day, too, but it was a lie. They were falsely accusing Jesus. It's a lie. Jesus was no wine bibber. Jesus was no glutton. Jesus was sinless. Sin. Often men use that excuse just to drink another drink to continue in their sin. But Jesus isn't going to help you to sin today. That's and right. he isn't going to justify your sin either. No, he's not. And as long as you reject him in your pride, he's not going to be you with your sin. But if you would humble yourself, if you would become contrite, over your sin, heartbroken about your sinness, before, about your sinfulness before God. Listen, He doesn't reject the humble. Humble yourself before the Almighty God. Amen. Be afflicted, mourn and weep. He says. Humble yourself. Be contrite over your sin. Or cleanse your hands, you sinner. Purify your heart, you double-minded. That's right. He tells us that we can be cleansed. And we don't reject this message. That we don't reject the fact that Jesus Christ gave his life. Brother Sam God preaching this truth. Truth that's missing that in most churches today. By admitting that yes, we have sinned against the truth. The Just the word of God. Nothing additional. Grace. Nothing subtracted. We need that power of Christ by his spirit that come into our hearts and set us free from our sin. I pray that the Holy Spirit moves on, on someone on Facebook today. But he who confesses and forsakes his sin. Amen. Come on, brother. Today, it makes no difference if you've been a sinner. It doesn't make a difference if you are a sinner. Are you willing to be set free from your sin? Are yeah. you willing to be forgiven of your sin? Are you willing to have a new life in Christ? Are you willing to receive him as Lord of your life? doesn't matter what sin you committed. It doesn't matter how many sins you committed. Amen. Are you 
willing to be forgiven? Are you, are you willing, willing to, to repent? reconsider the path you're on? Are you Amen. willing to reconsider the fact that you're walking in sin and you need to be set free from it? Going from the broad way to the narrow path. Are you willing? Hmm. See, the thing is, when we're lost, we cherish our sin. We've known nothing but sin. So we come to Christ. We, we only know what it feels like to be in bondage to sin. Amen. That's, That's why it takes faith to believe this message. You have to believe that there is a whole other life to be given. Amen. One that is freedom from sin. Jesus said, he who the Son sets free is free, is indeed. free indeed. Come on, amen. Now either Jesus was telling the truth and he's willing to set free and, and, and he was. Sin, or he's a liar and we're standing here as lunatics. But both of those statements can be true. Either Jesus Christ can set you free. How you doing, sir? You truly believe the message of the gospel? Or is it the book filled with words and we've gone crazy? But again, I would ask you what God says. Come, let us reason together. I got a Bible in my pocket. We can Amen. look over the scripture. Amen. Let's do it. Your soul is very valuable to God. Even if, no, you don't. If you're in a bottle of booze, you don't know, you don't know the Lord. God, I'm telling you. Those days they called him a wine liver and a drunkard. That's a lie. They hated Jesus because he testified their deeds are evil. He said, you hypocrite. Nobody pretended. You are me with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. Your heart is filled with drunkenness. Where your treasure is, your heart is also. Your treasure is a bottle of booze tonight. You need Jesus. You need to repent. You That's what happens when you're confronted with your sin. You get angry. You and I've been there. Stand before a holy God and be judged for drunkenness. You need to turn. Don't let the devil deceive you any longer. Don't let him make. Don't let him make you feel like you're safe with God while getting drunk. Don't. Don't feel safe with God while you're getting drunk. No, you don't know Jesus. You search the scriptures because you believe in them. You but you have life. You need to be saved. You need the spirit of Christ. But it is the scripture that testifies of Jesus. He said, No drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God. No drunkard shall inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, but where's that at? What scripture? The Bible says the righteous man judges the spiritual man judges all things, yet is rightly judged by no one. Where would we be? If Unbelievable. This is what you expect See, you when you lift up the truth. Know not God and obey not his Jesus said, you'll be hated but for my sake. Hey, you, God, good. A, that's good. If you the world loves you, there's a problem, God believe me. me and you said good things about Everybody it. loves you. Everybody got so something to say good about you. Of God, they the Something's word wrong. God. You ain't living for Christ. You're living for yourself. They hate that God said these things about their sin. And that's the deception the devil has. The church is full of self-exaltation nowadays. It's all about getting me to where I want to be. Give me the title that I want. It's ridiculous. Jesus said, you must die. You must die and serve me. You must die to the flesh. Die to your own agenda. And follow me. Pick up your cross and follow me. That's what he said. When God offered you crystal clear. None of us are perfect. We're walking with Christ. He said, be so. He called us. Being made holy. Being sanctified. But we're willing. You got to be willing. You got to be willing to call on the name of Jesus and repent. Ask for forgiveness and follow him. Many are not willing today. I remember when I was in bondage to sin, I didn't think straight at all. You would find me doing the greatest of things. Me too, brother. Me too. I've been there. The sobriety came into my mind, the spirit of Christ. Jesus set me free too. He shined Praise God. abroad in my heart. And I was set free from that sin. And no longer did I walk in the deception or the drunkenness. Amen. Come on. Amen. God bless you. How you doing? We've seen you down there. Hold on. We try to see the side over here. We keep seeing you. I was talking about it. I was almost with The dog's usual route is that way. We just couldn't see the side because we keep seeing you. Are you guys for the journey? Okay. No, we're from uh, oh.